So Spain in Civilization VI is the first to announce that is heavily geared towards the new religious victory, and I'm really excited about their bonuses. So Philip II will be leading Spain, and I have to say, I think he's one of the best looking leaders so far announced. I really like this, this style that they gave to him. So let's talk about his leader ability. He's going to give his units a combat bonus when fighting opponents from other religions, as well as he's going to get an extra use out of his Inquisitors. This just makes me think, holy war. Holy war all day, every day. Just go to war with any Civ that might have a faith that, even if it's not more dominant than you, just kill every other religion out there and you win a religious victory. I mean, we, we don't know, you know, exactly how well that plan could work, but I would try it. And I guess if you didn't want to get into a conflict on your home continent, you could always use those Inquisitors to kind of control and manipulate uh, another enemy faith. Let's talk about Spain's special ability. Their trade routes are going to get bonus yields when it's between two different continents. And one thing I want to mention here is that just because it's a Pangea map doesn't mean there won't be continents. Um, there still will be, and I haven't made a big enough uh, note of that in, the, in, in past uh, leader breakdowns. So civs like uh, America, Great Britain, France, now obviously Spain, will still be able to use these bonuses uh, even if it is a Pangea map. There will just be kind of smaller islands. I guess imagine it like the island of, you know, the British Isles or, or Japan or something like that. So that's pretty cool. There's a second half to the special ability. You can combine ships into fleets much earlier than other civs. I'm going to be honest here. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I didn't hear about this, and, uh, and that's really cool. I imagine there's going to be probably a significant combat bonus for ships that are uh, combined into a fleet. This has got to be some sort of late game mechanic, but uh, clearly from the video, it seems like it's probably going to be maybe accessible around the Renaissance era for Spain. Nonetheless, it seems like Spain should have an easier time protecting those trade routes going from continent to continent. Okay, so their unique unit might be one of the coolest unique units so far to date. They're going to get a significant combat bonus when there's an Apostle, an Inquisitor, or a Spanish Missionary on their Hex. And if they're adjacent to a city that's captured, they will also automatically convert it to your religion. So, I don't know the exact value, and I don't really care to know the exact value, but I know that, like, let's say 90% of the cities in the world need to be converted to your religion to win a religious victory. Again, this value will more than likely change. Nonetheless... Like, that is one of the most OP unique units I have seen so far. I, I think that Spain is going to be such a huge contender every game for a religious victory. I mean, I don't know exactly how well the AI will be able to use this mechanic, but as a human player, uh, this is going to be a great sieve to try out um, some of those harder difficulties like Mortal or Deity. Finally, their unique infrastructure, the mission. It's going to provide faith, and it's going to give bonus faith if built on a different continent than your capital, as well as it's going to get a bonus to science if built next to a campus. I think it's awesome that the mission will also provide science. That, to me, is, is the key right there. I mean, yeah, getting the extra bonus faith is pretty nice, but also getting science yield out of unique infrastructure like that, that's, you know, obviously feeding your, ultimately, your pretty dominant religion is Spain. I mean, I think that's going to be pretty clear. Um... You know, that's a, that's a one-two punch, baby. Having a dominant religion and being, you know, pretty good in science, I don't see, you know, a better combination than that. Final thoughts, I think Spain is going to be one of the best civs in, in Civ Six, no doubt. They're just exploring so many of the new features and new mechanics, and, and they're so OP. You know, whenever you have a civ like that that's geared directly to one victory type, that's how you know you've got a really good civ. Uh, like, for instance, Korea in Civ Five or Babylon in Civ Five. You know, both of those were heavily geared towards science and, you know, it's easy to obtain science victories. This is this is what I'm seeing from Spain. They're very geared towards a religious victory and I think they're going to be very exciting to play as in October. So, so as always, let me know down below what you think of Spain. I actually think they are a great Civ to maybe play as first when Civ 6 first releases to be able to kind of explore uh, religion and the new religious victory could be really exciting, obviously, with this nation. Uh, if you want more leader breakdowns, they'll be here. Uh, click on any one of these. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.